here. Let's see, where is my green section? What are we all going to need? Okay, here's an orange. Yoink! Oh, you're going to be a very colorful dragon. Oh, here we go. Grab you. Pink, not quite. Red, surprisingly no red. That was a bit of, yeah. Blue, need a few. There's the green. That was cool! So, uh, Charlotte actually went missing on Sunday. Uh, what would that be like? Three, four days ago, three days ago, and I was missing, and I uh, searched all along the grass all the way up until the bus stop, or at least where I saw the trash, and yeah, I didn't find her, so I went back home all along the grass along the sidewalk, and I didn't spot her, so I was like, oh, three. Only three blue. All right, then, we'll just pop a few of you back. Doop a 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 doop and just one purple. Look. Oh, you are going to be a color. I can really bother kind of placing them all extra nice, but okay, we've got five there. And then we got two orange. And then we got two blue. Whoop. And we got a purple, and we got two black, and we got another blue. I'm going to go through and uh, sort this bag out. This was uh, from when I just got a pile of random rings from the Ring Lord. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, yeah, you can see the two different types. Uh, it, wow, that actually shows up quite significantly on the uh, camera. They look a lot closer in person, but one is obviously darker in, than the other. And that's because it's like a matte finish for some reason or another. I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. And boop! So we're going to be tossing 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, well, except for the very, 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 very first one, a large dragon that used uh, 16 gauge rings. And out of curiosity, what size were said 16 inch rings? They're 16 gauge. Uh, quarter? No. Five sixteenths. Uh, the majority of my very, 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 very first large link inside of that I just posted a link to uh, where you can see all of the dragons so if you're watching right now you can check that out and otherwise I'm gonna go opening up these rings opening up these rings these 18 gauge quarter inch rings so she's opening up these 18 gauge rings you know, it's kind of a variation of my song, uh, The Pickup Train. Uh, I may have to come up with like a, just a variation of it called Quarter Inch Rings. <laughs> Ooh, I have been developing this uh, song, uh, Oh Darling, a little bit more. So uh, I'll sing that one for you right now, just because. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Another verse that I uh, came up with uh, while I was on the bus today. How did that part go? Let's see, let's end that again. <laughs> song is coming along really nicely. And I guess one thing uh, that's been uh, coming to my mind a lot too, I think at some point or another uh, maybe uh, buying it with uh, Bitcoin or yeah, Bitcoin or PayPal maybe. Um, I'm going to be getting a uh, webcam because uh, the default camera like the one that's on me right now uh, is well the, web, the uh, laptop camera. And this laptop camera is like 0.6 megapixels, like 0 0.6, so that's just, uh, so that's why it looks the way that it looks, unfortunately. And uh, there's no way to show both uh, like uh, this view as well as me, like in using the good camera to face me. And now, you know, I've uh, contemplated just having the entire stream uh, as this, and then I'm in the corner here. But very little action really happens over here. Like, uh, you'd see me kind of... Oh, why are you off-center? That was centered before. Strange. So yeah, like, you would basically be seeing uh, no movement for the most part. I'd be a little bit in the corner there. And... Yeah, so it's kind of a... You know, which option do I take type of thing. So, uh, for the time being, we'll... Uh, Go back to this view here, and like I said, I'm going to be getting a. Give me two seconds. Meow. I hear a kitty catty uh, looking for some attention. Meow. Hey you, come back. Meow. So everyone, say hi to uh, Squishy. She's one of the uh, house cats that uh, I'm living with here. Like I moved. Oh goodness, a ring fell. I moved in a little while ago, and, you know, this is just one of the cats that live here. Not my cat, but, you know, someone's. And, uh, like, I'm looking for a place that has lower end, so it'll be kind of not my kitties. I do definitely want to get another one of my own sometime in the future. Oh, goodness, you, like, know that sometimes. Well, I hope you can pick up the uh, new life, new profile, all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now she's kind of chewing on the uh, string that comes off of my uh, tea bag. So, yeah, she's just kind of nibbling at that. Whatever, you can feel free to drink my tea as well if you like. A lot of people don't like that when cats drink from their drink. Whereas I'm like, go for it, I've got an immune system for whatever, you know, cat stuff you've got on your tongue. <laughs> Okay, so we've opened up home right now. So, yeah, Kitty came up here and was like, Oh, I want some attention! Meow! And so, yeah, you can be in here and yeah, get on the internet a little bit. But unfortunately, I'm in a work mode right now. And if you want patterns, you can at least come on camera, or at least come closer so I don't have to, like, you know, stretch over. Ooh, I got some peppermint herbal uh, tea today. So again. But it feels kind of good to just, you know, not be dependent on cat. So alarms can be going off at six every day, so that's going to be... Oh. We'll see if I can uh, pare that down and get me another uh, few minutes of sleep, though. Just because I like sleep. <laughs> if I can manage to uh, change that to, you know, say 6.30 and then get ready in half an hour, it's, uh, honestly, it's kind of debatable whether uh, to like go home first or 
to go directly from college to the work. I guess it depends on when work starts, but that tends to start at 4 p.m. So they'd give me a four-hour window there to go home and yeah, change and then maybe toss a lunch into me, get good grades, become a healthcare aide. That would be the goal in general. Oh, hey, Squish, back again? Yeah, I thought you were. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, kind of busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, missed, uh, kind of messed it up here a little bit. <laughs> Which uh, the lyrics in my head there are the big out for uh, like how I'm working here. I have my back. But yeah, we start with green. Oh goodness, lighting. Oh, okay. Up, up, up. There we go. Skills aren't exactly lined up all that well. But uh, yeah, we got three green there. <sighs> Give me two seconds. Try to arrange it so that it's nice and visible. And just every possible force in the universe is going to make it difficult. <laughs> So yeah, we've got green, we've got orange, we've got blue, we got a purple hiding towards the end there. Nope! No way, yes! Yes, we do have a purple hiding. Just looks very similar to the green on the camera. Then some black scales at the end of that. So we're coming along pretty nicely there. Orange, then yellow, and then three green. Then we scales directly at the start of our spine. A green as well, so it works out well. That's how our dragon's gonna look. <laughs> Here, just oh, slight bit of a kind of a drippy nose, I'm guessing, because of the change in temperatures happening lately. I hope I'm not getting an allergy to like spring stuff. That's the last thing I need. Never before, but eh, it, sorry, shade. <laughs> in the shade, it was a little bit chilly, but uh, when you were like sitting in the sun for a little bit, it's like. Yeah, it's actually actually not too bad. So another few weeks or month or whichever. Generally speaking, by the time college starts on the 30th, it's uh, going to be, I'm hoping, a fair bit warmer. And that'll be really nice. I actually didn't have to wear one layer of clothing. <laughs> and generally speaking, this works relatively well. <laughs> then I have to find a way to mount this camera up on top of the table, which in and of itself would be kind of an extra challenge since I literally don't really own anything that would be tall enough. I suppose I'd have to like literally drag my uh, clothes dresser over to beside the sewing desk, or somehow have the sewing desk so that it's beside the uh, clothes dresser, but then the top of the sewing desk can kind of open up and yeah, the, I'd have to do a whole lot of, there's a giant rabbit's uh, hole if I want to try to like move over to working on that surface. Like I said, spider. Like there's multiple, there are four different people, four, four people in total including me using the internet in this uh, home so you know I don't really have any good way of gauging what internet is being used or if it's a heavy usage at any given point at all. Like, are there multiple people streaming Netflix at the moment? Is there, like, uh, someone live streaming a sports game or something? Oh, hey, the Jets are playing uh, someone today, by the way. Go Jets! Woo! <laughs> Which is the best that I can get at the moment. Like I said, a lot of upgrades hopefully coming down the road for, like, into the bottom of the microphone itself. Be putting off... Uh, disassembling it entirely. It's like, oh, that's a long shot. <laughs> but, you know, it's a really good microphone. I paid over a hundred dollars for it back in my money days. So it's, 
it would really be nice if I could get it fixed. I'm taking it to uh, an electronics repair place for something like that. Uh, I guess I can, I guess, Google search what I'm not even entirely sure what ones exist in the city and see what they say about it. Oh, yes, this is uh, interwoven four in one, which is. Shade actually has the old style of belly, which was uh, Persian dragon scale. You're actually my uh, oldest dragon. Ooh, you're the elder dragon of the group. So uh, her birthday is uh, coming up the day after college. Wait. Oh, your birthday already happened. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to wish you a happy birthday. Aww. Oh. Happy late birthday. Sorry, Shade. Oh, that means I probably saw there was sort of a time when I was, what should I call it, uh, doing dragons fast enough to do one a day. Yeah, that's when I was uh, had my business and was trying to make a living through live streaming just non-stop, or just like through live streaming and uh, Patreon. Can be making another Patreon soon, by the way, and... Uh, you know, just kind of uh, pondering it for a second here. Um, uh, like with the uh, live stream, me uh, streaming directly to YouTube. Aha, there's a little bit of wind there. Knock on wood. <laughs> Yeah, I went uh, out of my way for that one. Um, uh, if it uh, works good uh, streaming to YouTube, then I'm going to try uh, one more stream streaming directly to Twitch and just see if it was like a bad day for Twitch's live stream, like uh, Twitch's side of things. Although I've got to say, with the, the live stream itself, like my software, it likes to say a uh, high CPU usage, and it uh, hasn't for today. So I'm thinking that it could just be like the Streamlabs portion of Twitch, or maybe just the Twi Twitch webpage itself that's just eating up a lot of memory and, you know, making it so that I'm having a difficult time streaming. Even when I do stream, I try to close like absolutely everything that I can in the background. I guess I could go through MS Config and uh, just kind of wipe out anything extra inside of there, so we're just doing absolute bare bones the windows as much as it's selling to me on the uh, like cheap type of thing. Inexpensive. Mm -hmm. That's uh, in some way or another an upgrade from this one. Like this one doesn't have like you know all four RAM. I'm pretty sure it's uh, four gigs of memory. And checkers that love to kind of cram themselves in with uh, Windows booting up. I went through MS config not too ridiculously long ago, and it you know didn't seem too bad. Uh, computer issues, troubleshootings, troubleshootings, troubleshootings. She doesn't like them troubleshootings. We live in. Okay, we don't really live in the age where everything should just work. Things are getting more and more complicated and involving more and more coding. Uh, that could get me started on bloatware, but I'll uh, avoid that issue. <laughs> it is more of a hey, let's post a videos type of thing. I don't think the live section of it is uh, all that as well implemented as Twitch. And then, uh, uh, that's the only way to describe that one. So if it works well, then awesome. Then I can uh, download the stream and upload it to YouTube and all that. And if it turns out that it's like the Streamlabs and extra stuff needed in Twitch to stream that's uh, causing the crashing, then and like I said, I'll uh, MS config it, see if I can troubleshoot that to uh, squeeze a little bit more RAM towards it. Or if I wonder if there's a way to... And I guess... to a song. I've uh, memorized the lyrics to uh, Britney Spears' uh, Where Are You Now? And that's really about it. Uh, Selena Gomez's uh, Love You Like a Love Song. I have uh, like remembered the lyrics to that one. I don't know if I still do. 
It's been a really long time. Sorry, I can't even offhand remember uh, how the song starts. Like the, the chorus is obviously, I, I love you like a love song, baby. I, I love you like a love song, baby. I, I love you. took off. Just like the like bratty cat that she is, because she's a cat and cats are bratty. <laughs> oh, that's a generalization. I shouldn't say that. Not all cats are bratty. <laughs> she's not even bratty. She's a wonderful cat, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just like uh, playing with her on my lap, but that's literally the first time ever that she's uh, climbed onto my lap. So I was kind of like, oh, I'm kind of, you know, taken. As I've uh, said a few times in my uh, previous uh, dragon video for uh, Charlene. Oh, I can show you my previous. Uh... Oh, good. Whoop. Okay, so here's the pattern on this one. Ooh, green, orange, blue, purple, black, blue, orange, yellow, green. So that looks pretty awesome. Oh, you are a colorful one. And let's see if I can quickly find our uh, dragon before that. There you are. Charlene, dragon number 46, who has uh, pink and purple uh, scales. So oh, those show up really nicely on the camera. Let's try and hold the other one at that angle, right there. Thank you, Charlene. Here, you can chill beside, beside Shade. Beside. <laughs> you can chill beside Jade. That's not bad. That's not a bad angle. So yeah, you can... Uh, try to get that light. And then my one arm is causing shade on it or something. <laughs> shade, you're down there. So yeah, this is the color of this dragon, which is pretty nice. It almost would have been nice to do a few more green on either side, but then it uh, wouldn't have worked out with the other colors in the middle. I think I got a pretty good peacock pattern going here. I think we got us a good peacock dragon. Peacock, peacock dragon, you like to be looked at lots, cause you have fancy colors too, and that's what you like a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's something I should uh, double check into. Just uh, pondering birds in general. Uh, in general, it's the uh, male of the species that tends to be more colorful because they're trying to attract a uh, mate and all that such. And the female of the species tends to be more, you know, bland colored or matte colored or whatever. So I'll have to check if that's the case with peacocks as well or whether uh, both genders of the species tend to have like the same, you know, interesting patterns. Oh, and we still have to get these shoulder scales on. But I need more quarter inch rings. So yeah, I've got to look into that aspect. Uh, we're not going to be finishing the dragon today. Uh, oh goodness, it's almost 10 p.m. here. Uh, I may or may not uh, finish the tail of the dragon as well. Let's see if we can get us a lesser dragon snake or whether we want to leave it as just a dragon caterpillar. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. an interesting little ditty. I'm not entirely sure what that was. So yeah, oh, I guess I left it on uh, this view here. So you can see the kind of uh, downside of uh, leaving it on just the uh, work surface uh, focus only here. Um, you've got uh, the majority of the screen taken up by all of this, which is more or less stationary. Like my hands are here and you see the corner of, you can see my meow. Meow. Gonna get that touched up at some point or another. But uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of a bland screen, so to speak. And also I kind of have the, uh, you know, well, enjoy life, which is just generally good statement. Then mother brain down over there as well. Let's see if I can point to you. Uh, there's mother brain from the Metroid series. Enjoy life, always a good thing. 
But, uh, bloop. <laughs> and the little uh, Metroid with the heart over there. Yeah, this one's a little bit more dynamic because despite the quality issue, like I said, I gotta get another webcam and, oh goodness, that'll probably soak up a little bit more memory as well. But uh, that would hopefully give me a significantly higher uh, megapixel count. And then it wouldn't look so grainy. 0.6 megapixels. Oh well, work with what you got until you can upgrade. And it may be until the uh, end of year, like after college and uh, working for a while when I can upgrade. Like I said, unless I can get uh, one from a friend or something like that. And yeah, maybe I'll try asking that on Facebook offhand. After stream, of course, because you know I'm kind of busy right now. Boop, boop. Oh goodness, did I attach one of these rings incorrectly? I did! Oh, whoopsies! Whoopsie daisy! <laughs> Let's just go and change that. And go put this over here. <laughs> Alright, I was going to double check something. Um, uh, with the, the way YouTube is now, it's uh, a little bit frustrating in that it's a bit difficult to actually get a uh, direct link to like the live stream itself. So I'm just going to double check something or another here. Oh goodness. Slate chest gurgly. I think I was going to prattle on about uh, something or another as well a little while ago, but it seems to have left my mind. Okay, so the link does indeed go to the live stream, but it unfortunately doesn't... Uh, ...open up the chat as well, which is a... Yeah, I was going to prattle on about... Uh... And then we almost had an echo there. You might have heard a few seconds of meeting with Cell. Okay, and I found the link to the live stream that's actively happening here. So give me two seconds. I'm actually going to post this to Facebook just for funsies. I should try live streaming to uh, Facebook or seeing if, after live streaming to Facebook, if I can easily download that to my computer so that I can upload it to YouTube afterwards. Uh, if only it was like easily possible to just stream to like all the things at once. <laughs> something here. Oh goodness, goodness, goodness. Never easy. Never, 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 never easy. shouldn't be looking at messages while I'm on here. <laughs> okay, let's close Facebook because otherwise it's just gonna like plink up notifications more or less non-stop. Okay, let's let's just close a whole lot of tabs here. Doop a doop do noop a doop do noop a doop do noop a doop do do doop 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 Okay, back to dragon making. I apologize for the uh, like interruption there. And also, just on the random side, Koro, life be with you. 
Oh goodness, I did that same thing again where I only connected this ring to one ring instead of two. Deary, deary, deary. Undo! Okay, we go around the eyelid of these two rings. Goodness. And let's try it one more time here just for funsies. I'll try and show you what I'm doing on close-up. I can't really work directly under the camera, but... Like, let's see if uh, the black rings show up worth decently underneath here. If I get the lighting exactly right, you can kind of see a reflection of them. Oh, goodness. Black and steel rings, you are difficult to video up close. Huh? <sighs> Items that are opening up with windows. So yeah, it makes sense to have updates, but again, update when I open the software. Like if I'm uh, particularly busy and uh, don't have time to like let you update and download your 100 megs or whatever like that, then give me the option to upload it at that specific time. Like XSplit software is actually really good for that. As is a lot like uh, what I use to upload uh, comic strips to my uh, webcomic. Read my comic, by the way. Uh, Planet Zebeth at zebeth.shinesparkers.net. That's Z E B T Z E B E T H dot S H I N E S P A R K K E R S dot net. And uh, click there or go there, check it out. And if you Google search Planet Zebeth, Z-E-B-E-T-H, uh, odds are you'll find it uh, that way as well. I'm fairly certain there's no other comic strips that are named the same as mine. But, yeah, read the comic. I'm at uh, 1,291 comics long. I just uploaded another comic yesterday, I think it was. So, hey, update. <laughs> And it's also my blog of sorts, so if you're uh, curious about just how things are going with me and such, uh, that gives kind of a, a quick rundown of, hey, here's the changes in my life, here's the upsides, some of the downsides. Yeah, it was kind of a broad overview. Sometimes I upload pictures and things like that. There we go, smooth out the edge of that ring. Okay, so we're done uh, what I like to call half Persianing uh, the sides of all of the rings here. I'm honestly not sure if uh, that's like, that's not even half Persian. Okay, come on you. Okay, go here, 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 and through here. Okay, I think we got it. Video data live. And then the website that I'm streaming to would have to have a really good connection to me to actually be capable of accepting and, like, streaming, processing and streaming the video data. More or less none of which I have. <laughs> so, goodness, I did that wrong again somehow. Oh. Normally interwoven four and one doesn't give me this much of an issue. Come on now, come on. Come on. Here, Charlene, let me have a quick look at you. Okay, so those scales are above the, those scales. And trust me, that makes sense. So let's try flipping you around. Something is not right about that. Now let's try here. Okay, no, no, this might actually be right. Oh! What I may have been attempting to make there uh, that was failing is a weave known as Dragon Back. I need to get a sample of that for my uh, chainmail sample pile at some point. Okay, now we're cooking with oil. Is that the saying? I'm not even sure if that's the saying. Doop-a-doop-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-do
could address the changes constantly, or so I've uh, kind of noticed from Googling. Okay, well, I've You know, it just came to mind. This is the 47th dragon. I think 47 might be a prime number. Just trying to here in my head. I do have in my uh, book O Dragons uh, to have the dragon of prime numbers. So who knows? A contender for the dragon of prime numbers. And we don't. We just about mm, half an hour ish. Maybe we'll swing at that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, kind of the whole story is uh, Celeste, uh, what was the game? Uh, Heroes of Might and Magic. Uh, there wasn't of any one, like, minion character type of thing. To... I can almost see it. Not so much, uh, well, obviously not this year. <laughs> but, uh, like, last year, for example, I had made, well, the uh, approximately 40 or so dragons. But uh, the last few months uh, were more or less... I have a home at this point from now on. That'd be a nice goal to aim for. <laughs> you know, a... You know, water a basin or a faucet basin or elsewhere. But uh, once I save up $15,000... I could... Kind of debating whether I even want to stay in Canada. If I can uh, figure out all the intricacies of moving to the USA, which I think, uh, just given the current uh, political climate and all that, I think uh, moving well to the USA or more or less, and maybe it's just to the USA, not so much other Canada, which would be phenomenal. So that would be a wonderful uh, goal to reach there of uh, having dual citizenship. So hey, kind of goal for the future type of thing there. And also, whoo! Dragon, dragon Caterpillar finished! So let's just try and show you another close-up here and see if we can remember the angle that gave us the best view. Okay, let's try and show you off here. Oh, look at those colors. Lighting play with me a little bit better. I think it was about this angle that we had really good on the other dragon. Steady. There we go. Yeah, it could be better. Green, orange, blue, purple, black, blue, orange, yellow, green. And yes, so Dragon Caterpillar State uh, achieved. Woo! And uh, now let's uh, take a quick swing. Uh, I think I'll stream until uh, 11 p.m. tonight. And uh, see if we can't uh, crank out crank out <laughs> a tail here, get us a uh, lesser dragon snake, which is what I call a dragon before it has a head but after it has a tail. Okay, so I have a sample of uh, elf weave, which is the weave that I use for the dragon's tail. And what we're going to do is just add a few silver rings to it. And that way I will be able to kind of easily separate it from the sample piece and, you know, that's good. <laughs> oh, if you ever get into chainmail, I highly recommend make a uh, small, like, three-inch sample of any weave that you learn. And that way you don't have to memorize, like, how to start a weave just from, like, you know, an individual ring and onwards, because with some of, the, can, some of them it can be uh, quite complicated. And then you basically just need to make 
like just or sorry not make uh, if you want uh, any weave you have well a direct sample there that you can look at to be all like okay is this what I want or you know you can show a customer hey what type of bracelet would you like and yeah that makes it all uh, very easy to a show off all the weaves you have and b uh, continue making uh, any given weave Okay, so I think we're only going to need two silver rings here. And now I need to open up a whole lot more quarter-inch rings. And uh, given how uh, quick the uh, pile of quarter-inch rings is going down here, I had uh, lamented in the past about, you know, this is my uh, last bag of uh, black and steel quarter-inch 18-gauge rings. And, you know, will I need to order more in order to finish this dragon? By the look of it so far, I'm going to have enough rings for the head and tail and body. And uh, unfortunately, I'll kind of keep on prattling for a moment here. With the head of the dragon, uh, the best size that works out for the weave that I use, uh, Alien Male. It's uh, 732 inch rings in 18 gauge. And unfortunately, I can't, at least through the Ring Lord, I should uh, try and check other suppliers. I'm not familiar with other suppliers offhand, unfortunately. Anywho, uh, I need to find a place that sells black and steel. Which I call it, 732 inch rings. And that would be phenomenal. Because otherwise, with these, I've been, uh, at least for um, uh, Charlene here, I took the quarter inch rings and clipped off about two millimeters from the end of it. Like the end of just, you know, at the butted portion there, at the seam of the ring. And uh, then uh, closing it uh, and making it round after that, that gives you as about as close as possible to a 732 inch ring, which uh, makes the alien male weave hold in place really, 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 really nicely. So that's awesome on at least a few different levels. Uh, with Shade here, she has a slightly different style of uh, way of keeping that alien male weave. Uh, she has extra teeth along the side of her mouth which uh, holds the weave together really, really nicely. I kind of wish that I didn't have an AR-specific aspect ratio. That's what AR stands for. Oh, goodness, I left it on this view again. Which, as you can see, yeah. Uh, let's swap it back to the other way. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, uh, yeah, it's a really, really beautiful looking weave for the uh, head of the dragon. Like, it gives me a look that I want. But it's aspect ratio specific, meaning that if you use slightly uh, black color that doesn't rub off like more or less at all, or it just. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah. Well, focus. Hold your hand steady, Katie Lynn. So, yeah, interesting looking weave. I really like it. It works really nicely for a tail. But uh, starting it from scratch, it is really, really difficult and confusing to uh, figure out. And inside of the chainmail section, uh, click on Ridley, the purple dragon looking thing there, who's making a chainmail shirt. <laughs> to keep the Metroids off, of course. Or you can go to Mail Artisans and, uh, or honestly, if you probably just Google search Wilbert Weave, with that space in between, of course. I can't imagine that there's too crazy many other places that would actually have that weave listed. So oh, I'm going to have to make a weave too. Uh, to remember my mom by Julia Weave somewhere in the future or in some way like commemorate her somehow not entirely sure how she loved cooking I'd have to like invent a recipe and unfortunately I am not the greatest cook right now I could prattle on about that but I won't a bit of a sob story type of thing and yeah I've got to come up with some way of commemorating her you know but I'll fight you with you. I've been having, having a wonderful time up there. And, you know, uh, if I happen to go to the afterlife of a different deity, well, I still be able to communicate with mom and dad. <laughs> there are some questions that aren't really, uh, you know, listed anywhere that I've seen. <laughs> okay, so, like uh, some people, myself included, are capable of uh, communicating with spirits in the afterlife and uh, like I'm capable of communicating no. 
mainly because uh, the only church that I really know of would be the one of uh, Jesus. And uh, I've only just kind of started worshipping him, I want to say a few months ago, somewhere around three or four. And I haven't been to a church since then. I never really went to church growing up. Kind of takes a fair amount of uh, mental focus and such to kind of uh, receive a response from them. And right now my mind and my uh, yapper here is uh, kind of going non-stop. So that kind of makes it difficult to concentrate on them and like think at the same time. And I don't just want to be silent and be all do-do-do-do. Let's just stare up into a corner for a little while. I've uh, spoken with him a number of times. And, okay, anyone else? I think I've spoken to some living people who are particularly spiritual as well. I don't want to drop names just because I don't know if that's a taboo thing or not. You got what they want their name listed on, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I probably shouldn't have mentioned. Huh? <laughs>